Hey YouTube, Mark from Advanced Electronic. Just want to show everybody here. This is a uh, very unique system, and uh, it's very similar to Don Smith's system. However, and it's using the same type of technology. Um, I'm going to give it once over. A lot of people say there's no way that you can loop anything. Well, ha ha ha, bullshit. Um, you can you can loop this system. I'm going to show you the wiring real quick. This right here is my input. Follow it along. Follow my hand. Goes all the way back. And it's going to the bottom of this with a light bulb. It's got an extension cord. I'm going to pull the extension cord all the way up. Um, the extension cord is following all the way to here. And right there into the bottom of my neon dimmer. And that is the same inverter Don Smith used. That goes to two 6-volt batteries in series, and that is connected to nothing. Nothing whatsoever. The only thing that we have here, I'm going to lay this down, the only thing that we have here are these jumpers. And the jumpers I actually connected thinking that I would have to connect them somewhere. Here's the ends. I'm going to put both ends together on the battery so nobody thinks it's connected to anything. Um, see, there's... Let me take the red one out of there. And I didn't know you didn't have to connect it to anything. I figured I'd just loop it. And when I took it off, it was charging itself. So uh, this thing's just falling apart. Anyway, the ends are connected to each other. Here's the loop. There's nothing hiding anywhere. So that's the battery. I'm going to put the... Oh, this fell out. Hang on a second, I gotta put the camera down. Okay, anyway, now the voltage is connected, it says 12.6 volts. When I turn when I turn that on, of course there's a little bit of a voltage drop. We have 12.3 volts and it stays there or it goes higher. And haha, -ha, the bulb is lit and the neon sign transformer is running. And we don't even have an arc gap on here. That's not even connected. So, this is a little bit different than Don Smith's. Any inverter will work on this. It gives you a little bit of a voltage drop. It has absolutely no impact. The bulb has no impact on this. It's hot. Wow. Let me see if I can unplug it. It's very tight. It has no impact on the input. However, you have a little bit less voltage drop, which is, is normal. And what I can do, if I wanted to, I can adjust this neon dimmer a little bit. It's just that this inverter is not doesn't 